Hey guys, I'm Coach Meek, and in today's program, we're going to strengthen our entire body. For this part of the workout, let's connect our suspension trainer to the high anchor point. Start with feet wide apart with knees and toes pointing out at 45 degrees. Suspend yourself back with arms straight. Drop into deep sumo squats with partial body weight support. Focus on your form and range of movement for this exercise. Let's try some sumo squats now. Start your thruster suspended forward with your arms soft straight in line with your body. Drop into your ball of foot squat and bring your hands into the low position of a shoulder press at the same time. Then thrust up into your standing position and hit your shoulder press at the same time. Stay on the ball of your feet the whole time and be sure to keep your spine neutral and protected. Pistol squat one leg at a time, placing your entire body weight on a single leg. Bend your knees and drop into your squat with neutral spine. Stop at 90 degrees to prevent hyperflexion of your knees. Keep your arms straight as you thrust up into your standing suspended position. Let's try a set with the left leg and then a set with the right.
start your curtsy lunge with your arms straight and body suspended lightly. Drop into a lengthy reverse lunge at 30 degrees of angle, supported by the suspension straps. Work through a whole set on one leg before switching sides. Make sure your lunge remains lengthy and clean. Keep a steady tempo and controlled movement for a whole set. Your turn to try it. Start with feet wide apart with knees and toes pointing out at 45 degrees. Suspend yourself back with arms straight. Drop into deep sumo squats with partial body weight support. Keep pulsing at the bottom half for the duration of this set. You'll feel a nice burn in your lower quads and outer glutes. Start your advanced calf raises suspended forward with your arms soft straight in line with your body. Keep your back neutral by engaging your abs and preventing a back dip. Calves raise all the way up to the ball of your feet then drop down to flat feet slowly. Your turn.
Kirsty squat with your weight entirely on your support leg with your opposite foot off the ground. Drop 90 degrees into your squat with vertical shin bone and horizontal thigh bone at the bottom of your squat. Pulling your opposite knee back at an angle will help engage your outer glutes. Let's try a set with your left leg and then a set with your right. Start lying supine with the stirrups at the arch of your feet. Lift your hips up, keeping your shins as vertical as you can. Hit that straight body line from your shoulders all the way to your knees. Press into the floor with your arms to support your balance. Try this great glutes and hamstring exercise for yourself. Start your leg curls by lifting up into a straight leg bridge. Then pull your heels back towards your butt and be sure to keep your hips off the ground. Return back to a straight plank body before starting your next repetition. Let's try some supine leg curls together now.
Start your supine abduction by lifting your glutes into a straight leg bridge. Create your abduction by pulling your legs apart while maintaining your plank body line and engage posterior muscles. Keep a straight line from your grounded shoulders all the way to your feet during your set. Start your abs rollout kneeling with your feet positioned directly under your anchor. Roll out slowly, keeping your arms soft straight. It's very important to keep your abs engaged and spine neutral to prevent pressure on your lower back. Drop your rollout short if you're experiencing pain in your shoulders. Start your atomic crunch suspended in a high plank with your core engaged. Tuck your knees into your chest and extend back out, remembering to keep your hips slightly higher than your horizontal body to protect your back. Use your prone plank position as a rest if you need it in between reps. Your turn to try some atomic crunches. Set up your side plank by placing your bottom foot in the stirrups first and then your top foot over the handle. Then lift into side plank and try to maintain a straight body line from your head to your toes. Hold steady for a set on your left side and then a set on your right. Your turn.
Start in your high plank position with your core engaged. Drop into your push-up without dipping your hips. When you return to your high plank, kick out into some hip abductions, again controlling your plank body line. This exercise is quite advanced, so we're stepping it up a notch. Set up your side plank by placing your bottom foot in the stirrups first and then your top foot over the handle. Then lift into side plank before dropping into your side bends. Don't allow your hips to twist during your motion to help keep your form as well as your balance. Start your pike crunch suspended in high plank with your core engaged. Elevate your hips, bring your feet and hands closer together to achieve your pike. Remember that your knees must remain straight throughout the movement. Drop back out into prone plank to finish your rep. Try some pike crunches for a set now.
Start lying supine with your arms vertical and tight suspension cables. Roll over with straight knees and ample control over your movement. Keep the repetition smooth and finish your outward motion before your lower back arches off the ground. Let's try some abs rollovers now. Start your dead bug in tabletop with arms vertical and tight cables. Straighten one leg, dropping it into horizontal position but without touching the floor. Return to tabletop and alternate to the opposite leg. Keep your lower back pinned against the floor and do not allow it to arch. Let's work through a steady controlled set of dead bugs. Seated V-up is likely the hardest exercise you're going to attempt today. Holding the cables rather than supporting your hands on the floor will intensify this exercise to another level. Try to keep your legs straight as you elevate them and hold onto your balance. If this exercise is too difficult, then simply lose your suspension cables and try it with your hands on the floor beside you. Let's have a go now. Great job everyone, well done for getting through today's tough workout. If you enjoyed it, please share with your friends and family and I will see you for your next Unbreakable Workout.